It feels so good and yet so strange to be outside on this beautiful sunny day like this. I've been inside a lot playing PlayStation VR games and I've had a very good time with this very cool device. I've played a bunch of things. Uh, I really dug jumping into Thumper, which where you play a little beetle and you're shooting down this track. I also enjoyed playing Wayward Sky where you're controlling a little female aviator as she's trying to solve these puzzles on top of this giant floating fortress and she has to encounter all of these cute little robots. I thought that was pretty fun. I dug jumping around inside of the VR Worlds collection, even though I was a little underwhelmed by the thinness of some of the, you know, individual experiences as a collection of five different things to do. Pretty cool demo, I think, of what PlayStation VR is all about. But I thought it would be important to not just talk about the total sort of collection that you can get at launch. And I've looked at a bunch of them. There's still a few that I haven't seen yet, but I've had a really good deep dive into the launch titles of the PlayStation VR. Wow! Don't hit the walls! I wanted to give you my five picks, the first five games that I would pick up for the PlayStation VR. We're gonna start with number five. I'm gonna give that to Res Infinite. This is uh, Tetsuya Mizuguchi's uh, I think we can qualify this as a masterpiece now. This is a game that has endured countless adaptations across many different systems over the years, but I think it was born to be played on a PlayStation VR system. Uh, you know, the mechanics are pretty straightforward. You use your head and the tracking systems included in the PlayStation VR to basically uh, target everything. Your, your head is the reticule inside of the game, uh, and you just tap and hold that X button to uh, select a bunch of targets and then you take them out and your music sort of changes and your experience kind of changes depending on how many enemies you target, whether they're in front of you or alongside of you or you're targeting giant bosses. And frankly, the music holds up and the gameplay holds up and it's just damn cool. I still really dig this game. Number four, I'm gonna say, is Battlezone. I recently reviewed this, and uh, you should watch that review to get a much deeper kind of look at the experience, but I just was impressed that this wasn't a super thin experience. This was a this was a pretty robust game. It's a tank shooter that uh, definitely lips on all of the fantastic work that was in the Atari arcade original. It's not vector graphics this time though. It's polygonal with not tons of texture detail, but you know, super fast frame rate and a super fast experience. You've got enemies that will fly. You've got enemies that are uh, gonna truck all around you of different sort of sizes and ammunition types and lots of bad guys to take out. You've even got some pretty cool bosses boss fights in the game. I thought Battlezone was tons of fun, and I like that there's some pretty cool online functionality as well, so I would absolutely pick that game up. Number three, I would say, is probably Batman Arkham VR. I think that this is a uh, an excellent toy in the Batman Arkham universe. And I think if you're as much of a fan of Batman or the Arkham games as I am, you don't even have to be because you really do feel like you become the Cape Crusader in this. And I think that was the entire idea behind this concept. It's gorgeous. I mean, all of the uh, art assets that uh, the Arkham team has been evolving and developing for years and years are in full you know, beautiful virtual reality display here, and you can look around all of the character models. It really feels almost like you're inside an Arkham movie for big chunks of it. Now, that's my complaint with it, is that you don't really get the the freedom that you want. You can't run into battle. You can't really get into fist fights and things like that. You can hurl batarangs. You can grapple to different uh, viewpoints. But again, you've got, you know, you're fading to black as you're sort of moving throughout this game. There's a little bit of teleportation, but for the most part, you are stuck in um, in specific areas dealing with what is immediately around you. Now that makes for a pretty cool cerebral detective, you know, story sort of approach to the Batman mythos, which I think is cool, but it doesn't really hit all of those Arkham high notes. It's still definitely something to be experienced. It's a showpiece piece of software for your PlayStation VR. And frankly, we know launch collections for almost any new piece of hardware are always a little bit thin, and you do want those titles that you can just strap on and appreciate for their gorgeousness, their beauty, their, their sheer uh, wow factor. And I think Batman Arkham VR definitely delivers on that. I hope that this thing sells well enough and the PlayStation VR sells well enough and people are interested in VR enough to engender the Rocksteady team to go deeper with the next one, you know? But for now, this is definitely one worth checking out and picking up and adding to your collection. All right, your sight's jammed. Hang on. 
Number two, I'm going to give it to Riggs. This is the Sony developed, internally developed over at the UK studio. Uh, they've created a very cool mech shooter, and the core sort of principle of the game is to run around and shoot everything, which is super fun. Uh, but then they've added this kind of sport sheen to everything. It's like this high-tech future sport, and um, you, you, there's elements of basketball, there's elements of football in here. Uh, there's a little kind of wipeout vibe with the sort of level design and all of the sponsor details and all of the extra kind of uh, content around the action on the match. It just feels like they've created a pretty cool external world around rigs and it's addictive. I mean, you get hooked on the matches and jumping in whether you play offline or online, you're basically building up your, your character and, and progressing through the story of you as a rigs combatant and all of the the benefits that you get for playing well and all of the, you know, the, that sort of sheer feeling of defeat when you get uh, beaten by your opponents there. And they even have this really cool sequence after the matches where you're riding in your your supersonic jet and you're going to the next location and, and they've animated your teammates and stuff. It's just really cool. It's a, it's a really well-made game and it, it just moves super fast and the, the fluidity and the, the way that you can get around the play field is very addictive. It's a stylish, super fun game. You know, I know, I know that they would love it to go into the eSports territory, but I, I think we get, we're a long way from VR eSports, but this is a step in that direction, man. This is, this is really fun stuff. Touchdown! The Dragon score! My number one game that I think everybody should pick up, especially, yeah, I mean, it's not for kids, but everybody that's gonna get the PlayStation VR, if they want some good jump scares, you will not be disappointed with Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. This is a very straightforward concept. You're in a roller coaster, and uh, it's the scariest, you know, creakiest, most terrifying, holy crap kind of roller coaster you've ever experienced, and they've merged that with a sh carnival shooting gallery where you've got all kinds of targets that you want to take out. You just got to shoot giant pigs and crazy clowns and psychos and hockey masks and, and uh, sort of zombie-type flesh eaten grotesquery type deals uh, there's blades to avoid as you're sort of going uh, you know down uh, in an incredibly well crafted roller coaster type sequence you feel that at vertigo when you're going over the edge and you're just going super fast around corners and stuff and you're also trying to target there's even amazing boss sequences in this thing it's not especially long i mean you've got about six or seven different uh, roller coaster rides or theme park attractions but there's kind of this through line story that takes you all the way through it but you can go jumping back into any one of those levels anytime you want and combat your own score but also combat the scores from other players around the world i just was very impressed with the the polish and the fidelity and the and the terror and the experience of playing this game. And uh, I think it's definitely a worthy pickup. So I'm gonna give my number one to Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. Fantastic stuff. So there you go, five great games to pick up for PlayStation VR. Have fun. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.